Hey there, my name is Chris Mitchell and I'm a managed services consultant at Parvel Tech. Today I wanted to go over how you can use the web UI to make changes to your patch policies across your patch groups. Um, a lot of that's been added now. Um, the web UI is becoming a little bit more useful every day. Let's get into it. So here in the web UI, we're going to go change some patch policies. You get logged in, you're going to click on the sliders, configuration, and patching. It's going to bring you in to start off in, in the approval policies. So approvals up here, you can select whatever approval policy you want to change. Let's take a look at our workstations. This typically would be our overrides. Um, majority of our approvals are on the approvals default. So in this case, you can read through all your options here. You can set this when they're required and not set. That really would fall to our default policy, approvals default, which would be this guy. You can have your stage deployment set couple of days for your test stage. Generally, clients that are close to you, maybe they run simpler software, not very intensive line of business apps. Your pilot stage clients, again, close to you, maybe a little further away, um, and maybe some more unique line of business apps. Um, that way, if there is an issue, you have some time between each stage to pull it back before it hits your production stage on day five. You can set your severities, your approvals by severity here. You could use your CBSS scores here. And most people are probably using your categories. This is honestly a little easier to visualize than what's in the thick client. But right here, you can automatically approve, ignore, or deny certain patches based off of these categories. So you go through here. If you're doing more of a manual process, you'd probably want to ignore or deny some of these or not set them because you're going to go in and manually approve them. You kind of go through all this. And down here, you can also approve specific patches depending on what's in their name, SQL, language packs, feature updates, other things like that. You can enter it here. This is a feature. And you can approve it or deny it or ignore it. You can click add and it's going to come up right here. In this case, we'll remove that. You can also change your update policies. So if you go to your Microsoft update policies, this will list all the similar policies to what you have in your patch manager. So we're going to go look at our every day, set to every day, 1 to 5 a.m. We run it every week, every day, every month, 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. to give us a four hour patch window. Over here, you can change what mode your Windows Update UI is in, your wake on LAN, your restore point. You can enable or disable daytime patching. Um, and you can always set it to run some scripts before or after um, patching runs. Pretty uh, useful now. You know, a lot of this stuff has been added fairly recently to the web UI. Um, so it's handy to be able to go in here and kind of set these things without always having to log into the thick client. Thanks for watching. We post a new video each week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com, and there's a link in the video and description below.